Good morning everyone. Today we're here at the port of Manaus. We're about to leave Manaus and we've come here because we're about to go on a 30 hour ferry down the Amazon River and we're heading to another state called Pará and the spot that we're going to is called Alter do Chão in Pará so it's a very popular spot a lot of people have already commented in the YouTube comments saying that we have to go there and we were already planning to go there anyway so yeah one of the options to go there is the ferry and we're doing it because yeah it's probably like a once in a lifetime experience right 30 hours on the Amazon River so we're just gonna enter into the terminal just over here but I think we're gonna get some snacks first right yeah um... I think maybe we need to buy some fruits, maybe some bananas or something because we're gonna need to eat something. I think there's food on the boat but people also told us to buy something else. Yeah, the review uh, said the food was a bit questionable. Yeah, it was not so good so it's better to bring uh, some snacks with us. Yeah, we already got some things here like oatmeal and some crisps and stuff Water. but just need to get some fruit. Just yeah. bananas? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so we'll probably leave the stuff here and I'll go and get bananas out there. So I remember last time we came here, they had these guys here with the fruit. So I'll probably buy the fruit here. For, what's this? Uh, three, three for ten. Banana, what's up? Same banana. Here? Here. 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 Are you gonna eat them all? Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> oh, that's too much. It's I like think. 20 bananas. Two for five. Two for five. Yeah. The guy was a uh, Venezuelan. Okay, yeah, it's uh, very cheap. In, yeah. in Rio, I don't think you can find this price. No. So here in Manaus, there's lots of Venezuelans because it's so close to Venezuela. Well, it's not that close, but I think it's the closest big city from Venezuela in Brazil. And they obviously all came here because of the crisis. So you see many around the city do like selling things like that, uh, playing music, all sorts. What do we have to do over there? We need to pay for the Sasha Jing back. It's like a fee for the port. Okay. Just five reais per person. All right. Oh, and they also gave you the ticket, right? Yeah, because we need to give this ticket to the guy over there, and then the other ticket to the boat. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because we already printed off the boat one, but yeah. we didn't have this one. So you just get that over there. Man, I got people taking all sorts of things on this ferry boat. Yeah, so here's one of the big ferry boats. Not sure if that's what we're going on. I don't think so, it seems all open. I think ours is gonna be bigger. Loads of boats, so look at this there. I guess these are just taking people from different areas nearby. He tripped you up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw him going into you. That was intentional. <laughs> Is it this one here, Carol? Yeah. The blue one. That's funny, you just walk on the ferry. Yeah, and apparently you can bring cars as well. I didn't know about You can bring that. jet skis. Jet skis, <laughs> yeah. And even a truck. A little truck. Yeah, so Carol's just checking in with these guys there. Ah, so this floor is all the, the cars and jet skis. <laughs> We still need to get our key, right? Yeah, I don't know where. Yeah, I got this. We got this bracelet here. I think he said at the end, so let's go in here. So this section here is a bunch of hammocks. So we're not gonna stay in hammocks, but you can uh, you can sleep in hammocks if you want. I think we're okay with our uh, jungle hammock experience, right? Yeah, 
tiny. Yeah, that is tiny. It's funny because it was written first class oh, yeah? in the paper that I had. Yeah, this, so is, this is first class. First class ferry boat room. Ah, so it's bunk beds. Well, I imagined it would be a, a bunk bed. Hey Carol, we got AC. Yeah, I First knew class, that. see? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm telling you about. this is cool, uh, like a closed space. So I think AC is better than fan. Yeah, I think Ooh. we got one plug socket there. Mm -hmm. Got the life jackets. All right, so this is the, the toilet. Certainly has the boat feel to it. <laughs> Ah, cool. So we were wondering if we got a shower. So there you go. And shower in here. And then just the tiny sink. So the ticket for this first class, was it 400 per person? Yeah, uh, 800 in total. And it's funny because the guy uh, tried to charge uh, a thousand and then I, I was able to to change the price to 800. Well, the first time you spoke to him, he said 800. Yeah, and then, and then the next time he was like, no, a thousand. Yeah, and I was like, no, 800. I think I could, I could have uh, gotten a better price. I think some people you, uh, can get like 700, but 800 was fine already, so yeah, that's it. And if you want to come and stay in the hammocks, I think it's a different price. Uh, Must be way lower because yeah, you're in a shared room. Yeah, I think it's 180 or something. Yeah. Someone just knocked on the door to sell us lunch. I think it's the vendors. I think they come on before the boat leaves. And yeah, you can buy food from them. So I'm going to check it out. Maybe it'll be better than the, the boat food. How much is it? 15 Tá, só pra esse, né? Eu tenho água mineral, refrigerante, água, mas vou comprar esse, então 15. So it turns out they did have fish for Carol. The lady got it from someone else probably. So that's the Piraruku, the monster Amazon fish. And I just got something called carne asada, some meat. So each of those were 15. And we're still gonna show the fairy food though, maybe at yeah, dinner time. Dinner. Yeah, so we can compare which is the better option. So Carol's making the most of her last internet for yeah. probably a long time. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> is it comfortable? Yeah, it is. I put this uh, on top of the, the pillow because it doesn't have a cover or anything. So yeah, I don't know if you can ask them for covers or maybe we're supposed yeah, to bring our own. I think this is better. I mean, I don't know if it's dirty, the, the pillow. So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they will have cleaned it. Yeah, that is pretty thick. So we always travel with these microfiber towels, these little towels. We pretty much never use them because we're always given towels. So yeah, I'll probably use this as my pillow cover. <laughs> I'm on the bottom bunk. Oh, it is a very comfortable bed though. That's yeah, a really nice bed. I'll be able to sleep okay in this. Good size too. My feet aren't touching the, the walls, so loads of space. I think if you stay on this floor here, you have to bring your own hammocks. I don't think they provide the hammocks. So it turns out you can come to the top floor. Looks like there's gonna be parties here or something. You got the speaker here, absolutely blasting music out. <laughs> Party on the boat. Ready for some dancing tonight? <laughs> no. No? <laughs> So you 
said that you were checking that one out, right? Yeah, I was seeing all the. Uh, I was searching for all the options, and that was an uh, that was an option, but not at this time. Apparently, it uh, it's not running because of COVID. But uh, usually, there's that boat, which is a very expensive one and like kind of luxury. But uh, at the moment, there's only this kind of boat going to Sanzare. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that one's like a five-star one, right? Yeah, it's a big company, Iberostar. Iberostar, yeah. Grand Amazon Manaus. And you can see they all have like balconies and seating areas, so yeah, it looks five stars. And I think we got about 30 minutes still. They're still loading up the boat, still people arriving as well. So we should be heading out soon. the sound for us to leave now. The 30 hour trip begins. Yeah, with a lot of Brazilian music. Yeah, 30 hours of Brazilian music. super windy now actually seems like a storm's gonna come so that will be interesting and we're, yeah. All right. and we're leaving the Rio Negro part now the Black River so that's the river that goes in front of Manaus and we're just arriving at the part where the two rivers join so that's Solimoines over there the light brown one and then this is kind of like officially where the Amazon River starts. So we did a tour the other day and we couldn't really see it this clear, the division. I think it's cause the sun was out, the reflection of the sun didn't show it very well. But now that it's a cloudy day, look at that. That's as clear as it gets, completely a different color. I think we're gonna go straight through it now. Yeah, we didn't see it like that on any of the other two tours. No, maybe it's also because we are high. Because when we were doing the tours, we were not just a regular boat. Oh, so yeah. We were close to the to the river. Now yeah. we can see it from above. It's I better. think it was to do with the sun as well. Yeah, though. as well. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's no reflection at all. Look at that. That's incredible. I can feel the rain. <laughs> oh, no speck of rain. Yeah, here we go. And the Amazon River begins. Wow. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, I think the rest of the trip now is this color all the way. to get knives and forks because they didn't give us any any plastic ones or anything with the food and the restaurant is closed right now but we asked one of the guys that worked there and he took us to the kitchen and we got the knives and forks so yeah we're eating here right now i don't even think you're really supposed to eat here i think this is for the staff yeah for the staff but it's fine yeah. we have a table and it's okay yeah they don't care we're at the back of the boat, right on the bottom now. Check it out. Bottom floor. How's the fish? It's good. It's not hot. Not hot. Of, of course, we yeah. we got it like three hours ago. It's so good. Yeah. Looks good though. Lots of veggies as well. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see how mine is. Carne asada. You don't usually 
usually get the mix of spaghetti and rice, right? Yeah, you get both of So it's around 5 p.m. now. We ended up just resting after we ate in the room, but now we've come out again because usually the sunset is around 6 o'clock in this region. Don't know how it's gonna be though, it is uh, very cloudy. And Carol was just saying here in the Amazon, the clouds are very low. Yeah, we've noticed that uh, I think a few days ago, but every time I look, they are kind of low. And even once that you fly through the drone, you could go up, uh, up above, the, the yeah, above the clouds and no. I didn't even go that high no no and yeah I don't know I maybe it's because I don't know it's always rainy and I don't know yes yeah, so I don't even know where the sun is but it looks like it could be over there and pretty much after we left Manaus it's just all like this now just a uh, jungle and forest uh, I think we are going to be stopping at some other places though yeah but it's supposed to be a very quick stop uh, but it, I think it's saying four or five places like uh, small cities on the way there but like you said uh, other than those five cities i think there's just uh, like big uh, small houses in a few areas yeah it's not uh, like uh, developed at all it's like jungle and just a few houses and just uh, like very remote places and right now we can actually see some other ferries like ours so there's one over there it's a race that one wasn't there before, so I think we're, we're faster than it, we're catching it up. top deck again now but it doesn't look like we're gonna get lucky with the sunset today I mean it's kind of bright over there but yeah it's just so 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 cloudy today but we do have a chance tomorrow as well because I think we only arrive at the place tomorrow around 6 which is pretty much around the time that it is right now so yeah should have another shot at the sunset before we get off the boat it's cold isn't it yeah. <laughs> go on dance Carol to warm up Ahosha. Ahosha? Yeah, that, that type of, of music, Brazilian music. Well, is it from this region? Um, I think it's from uh, from the northeast, but I think even in Rio people like it everywhere. Like All Brazilians yeah, like yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy though how wide the, the Amazon River is. On this side we're a bit closer. I can actually see some lights there now, so yeah, people live around this area. But yeah, it is just uh, so massive. Once you're here, you really feel how, how big it is. So once it gets dark, there isn't really anything else to do around here. So yeah, we've just been in, in our room the whole time. It's pretty funny though, they have a, a bar on the second to, to last floor and uh, they had like disco lights and stuff. So since there's nothing to do, I've just been editing, working on some videos. Over the last few days we've been so busy in the Amazon without internet and without time really. Just been doing stuff the whole day that haven't really had time to work on anything. So yeah, we're trying to do that now. And what are you doing up there, Carol? Playing. Playing? Yeah, because all, all that I need to do is with internet and now I don't have any internet so I'm just playing. <laughs> no, no work for Carol. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to bed now, going to continue this video tomorrow morning. And I forgot to mention that they did bring us uh, bed sheets. So you do get bed sheets and um, yeah, pillow case pillow cover so for some reason they didn't give it us straight away but yeah a few hours later after we arrived they came around and gave it us so 
Yeah, that's good. <laughs> it's the next morning now. We slept really well, actually. Like, a really good sleep here. It's really quiet in this room, so you don't really hear any noise, and it's uh, pitch black because there's no external light, so yeah, really easy to sleep. They did stop somewhere during the night though and um, yeah we could hear some vendors came on the boat shouting uh, to buy stuff but it wasn't really that noisy and it was very quick and the only issue in the room is though um, that they have specific times for the meals here and yesterday we asked people what time the breakfast was and they said oh they're gonna announce it on the radio but this room is so quiet that we don't we don't hear the radio here inside so I think we just missed uh, the breakfast because we went there now and it's all shut. So now we're just eating the, <laughs> the snacks. That's yeah. Carol's breakfast cake. Good thing that we, we brought some, some snacks and bananas. So that's, that's going to be our breakfast. Yeah, and I'm just going to have to eat some bananas then. Luckily I did bring about 20 so <laughs> I'll just eat loads of bananas. And I'll show you now on Google Maps uh, our current location. It's around 9 a.m. now, so yeah, we should have about nine more hours to go. That is what I call rain, Carol. Yeah, you hear the, the thunder? The thunder, I just yeah. heard a bit. Yeah, look at this, you can't see anything at all. Only just you can see a bit of land out there. Absolutely throwing it down though. And I think we're supposed to be arriving at some sort of town or something. Yeah, we're passing uh, through a place called Juruchi. Um, Juru. Juruchi. Juruchi. Yeah. I'm not sure if we're gonna stop or just gonna pass, but that's the town right <laughs> there. But we can't see because of the rain. Yeah, we've been wanting to see one of the towns, right, along the way. And now it's a pouring down. Yeah, now we can't see anything at all. To be honest though, so far this trip has been uh, less scenic than what we were expecting. It's because the Amazon River is so wide and obviously the ferry is passing through the middle so you can't really see like the land up close you can uh, just see it in the distance so yeah you don't really get to see that much it kind of just looks all the same so far So I think the majority of the places are just like this, just very small little towns. No like uh, big cities like Manaus until the spot that we're going to. It's probably just like a little fishing village. These look like all fishing boats right here. Moving uh, water from his boat. Looks like he's gonna sell some uh, watermelons. That's our cue. Carol, I hope it's not raining like this when we arrive. Yeah, it's too, too strong the rain right now. Yeah, we'll get soaked in a second. Yeah, and uh, the floor is all muddy here. Not yeah. sure how it's gonna be there. Look at this one here with a suitcase. Yeah, I don't want that to be us. <laughs> yeah, like Carol was saying, the, the floor is all like mud. It's not like a waterfall here, it's raining that much. Maybe that's why the Amazon has the color. It's like yeah. the ground. Yeah, it's yeah. always that color, right? Yeah. Or orangey yeah, light part, brown. It's part of the river. Yeah.
So we're gonna try out the the ferry food for lunch. All right, they got fish, beans, farofa. Not a big selection, right? Mm -hmm. But we actually came for dinner yesterday. We just didn't show it, and there was way more options. So for all this, it cost us 43 reais, and I got some goyaba juice, and Carol got a coke, as always. And the food's actually pretty good, right? The reviews said it was bad, but to me, this is just like typical Brazilian yeah, food. Yeah, yeah, it tastes good. The only problem yesterday uh, for dinner, they didn't have fish, so I couldn't have any meat. But other than that, they have a good food. I mean, the taste is good. It's basically just the same kind of food as what we got from the, the vendors that come on the boat. And the price is pretty similar as well. Not much difference. There's only us here, look. <laughs> yeah, maybe we came late. Maybe that's why there's less option for food. It looks like they've already taken away some of the food or something. Pretty nice spot to eat though, look. You got these big windows. So you get some good views of the river. Finally, and we're actually heading to a spot called Santarin and then from there we're gonna have to get some form of transport like a taxi to Alter de Chão where we want to go and it is around the sunset time once again so looks like it could be a bit better today I don't know if you look over here all the the sky is dark and cloudy definitely doesn't look good where we're going but yeah maybe we can still get a better sunset than yesterday we didn't do much today, did we? <laughs> no, I was only playing games and uh, I was also checking Google Maps and checking all the city names and everything just because I have a, like the map uh, offline mode so I can, I can still see the map even when there's no internet and I was, that was my funny game to keep uh, just searching on Google Maps <laughs> Yeah, I, I just finished editing the video. I even slept again during the day. I don't know, nothing to do. in Santarin about 20-30 minutes ago already but we have to wait for them to remove all the big trucks from the front before we can leave so yeah we're just waiting right now doesn't look like they're removing them anytime soon off we go yeah there's still some uh, trucks there I guess they they're just letting us go at the same time Man, we basically got off the boat in the mud. <laughs> yeah, well, be careful. I, I thought it would be like a big pier or something. So Carol's just looking for an Uber. Hey, what's up, Doggo? Smelling the bananas. <laughs> So that ride cost us about 130 reais and that's for a 50 minute ride and it wasn't uber by the way it turns out that they don't actually have a uber here they have some other app 
but we just uh, spoke with one of the taxi drivers there and we checked on the internet and that is about the price that it mentioned which is strange because in Manaus for a similar distance it was only 20 to 30 reais so here's like a hundred more so I guess it's just more uh, expensive here and we just checked into our spot it's called uh, Posada Flora and this is 280 reais per night and that includes breakfast so it's just a small little room this is our bed but yeah you get an extra little bed there and then there isn't much here just some drawers there got the TV AC and a pretty big fridge and a pretty nice small little bathroom as well so really looking forward to checking this place out it's supposed to be like the top beach destination here in the Amazon never thought I'd be saying that a beach destination in the in the Amazon rainforest but apparently it is so yeah tomorrow will be our first day exploring and yeah we'll see how it is everyone says it's amazing so if you like this video just drop a like to support us subscribe if you like to see more videos like this Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.